Hi there, I'm Joel Hartz with Hartz Photographic Studios, and today we're going to talk about uh, this guy right here. This is a CN126 LED light. I first saw this on CheesyCam.com. Uh, he did a, a great review of it. Um, he got them from an eBay seller at Yes Painting, and that's the same guy I got them from. And with that, they threw in a little uh, flash stand, so which is kind of useful since this is actually has a hot shoe mount. So you're going to need this in order to to set it on something and also to mount it to a um, a light stand if you don't have a, a flash bracket already. Um, I'll go over a couple features here. Um, this light claims 5400 Kelvin temperature. I have to differ with that. I would have to say it's about 5000K. Um, it's going to have a green spike, so you're going to want to use some minus green or a magenta. It actually comes with some filters. Uh, one of them is a magenta filter, which I haven't tested yet, So, because the first one I ordered didn't have the magenta filter, so you might, I guess it, they forgot to put it in there. Uh, which is fine by me, because I've got my own minus screen. So. Um, but I'll check that later on and see how well that works. Also, it comes with a CTO filter as well. This is pretty much a piece of garbage, so I would just throw that thing out. Uh, it does have a diffusion bit on the front here, uh, which doesn't really do a whole lot, but I use it to hold in filters, so I can use it to slide your other filtration in there. Uh, it's plastic construction, so don't drop the thing, because it will break. Uh, but it does have a lot of power options here. Uh, you've got AA batteries that you can pop in there. It takes uh, six of those, and then you can lock that in with a little little cl clasp here that it pops in. Also, you can use some aftermarket batteries or just some old uh, batteries you got laying around. This is here is an MPF 550 aftermarket battery, and it just pops right in there. And uh, Or you can also use this adapter right here as well. And this will actually use a Panasonic, and I've got one here with a Panasonic already on. It's got a built-in battery tester, which I think is pretty useful. Uh, and it does, it's so far in my testing, it seems to be pretty accurate. So I'm showing two bars in this battery here. And of course, this thing's dimmable, so I think that's a great thing too. So you can actually get a lot of light output and dim it as well if you need to reduce it a, a little bit. Um, you'll see here that it ends up being a little bit spotty, so you're not going to be using this as a, you know, as a broad fill light, not by itself at least. Uh, but it, you can, it's got still, it's got a lot of really good uses for it. And I think that's pretty much all the major features. The uh, the hot shoe mount's a bit flimsy, so I would recommend either trying to come up with a better solution for this. It does have some screws, you can remove this. Um, I haven't figured that out yet, so if anybody has any ideas, please leave me a comment, let me know. Um, we'd love to hear about, I'd love to hear your ideas. Um, but in the meantime, I would probably recommend not relying on this too much because, you know, this thing is, is kind of flimsy, so, and it doesn't, I mean, I got these things cranked down and I can still move it pretty easily. So, um, if you're going to do it, I would probably recommend keeping it in a position somewhat like that just so that it doesn't have a tendency to, to move as much. Um, now, as far as the, the color ratings and everything, I told you before I used 5500 Kelvin, um, or rather it's, that it's rated at 5400 Kelvin, and I rated it personally at 5000. Uh, what I like to do with mine is I like to just throw um, about a quarter to three eighths minus green. It seems to do the trick. A quarter seem maybe just a, just a little bit, just a slight green edge to it. Um, and I did a half because I only have quarter minus screen, so I doubled it up and did a half, and a half seemed to be just a little too much. So I would probably recommend just you know buy a sheet of this stuff, you know at one eighth minus screen, and just you know put two or three pieces in there and see what that does for you. Also, um, I have a tendency to balance to uh, the daylight setting on my camera here. So if you're balancing to 5200, which is what my daylight setting is on the T2i then you're going to probably want to be using about 1 8 CTB. Uh, that seemed to do the trick, got me right up there perfect. If you're going to go a little higher than that, if you're going to go balance up to 5400 or if you're going to 55 or 56 or whatever, well then you're on your own because I don't, I don't know what those would be. Um, well actually I'd probably do, uh, let's see here. I had a, my cheat sheet here, we ended up at 
a quarter CTB got me up to about 5,500K. So, so there you have it. So if you're trying to get, so 52, just use a, a 1 8th CTB. And if you want to get all the way up then to 5,500K, then you can use a quarter CTB. Um, that is pretty much it. So I will leave it at that. Uh, overall, I think this is a really good idea. Um, it's cheap. So if you break it, it's not a big deal. If you leave it somewhere, you're not out tons and tons of money. And um, it's fairly lightweight, you know, considering obviously the batteries are your, you know, add a lot of weight to it. But uh, lightweight, so you can, it's very versatile. And that's it, man. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please make sure you leave those and we'll get back to you.